Now, there was a lot of chatter that he was going to do it, but a few hours ago, President Trump made it official. He confirmed the United States is walking away from the Paris Climate Accord. President Trump, who had repeatedly pledged uh, to dump the agreement, uh, said he is seeking a better deal for American workers. Now, his decision, though, was met with condemnation not only uh, outside the U.S., but inside the United States as well. Noah Adam has more. As president, I can put no other consideration before the well-being of American citizens. Thus, as of today, the United States will cease all implementation of the non-binding Paris Accord and the draconian financial and economic burdens the agreement imposes on our country. The widely expected announcement is part of Mr. Trump's America First policy. He said the exit from the 2015 agreement was to help the country's vital industries, especially oil and coal, but added he is willing to work with the Democrats to seek ways to negotiate a better deal for the United States. I'm willing to immediately work with Democratic leaders to either negotiate our way back into Paris under the terms that are fair to the United States and its workers, or to negotiate a new deal that protects our country and its taxpayers. So if the obstructionists want to get together with me, let's make them non-obstructionists. He blamed the deal reached by nearly 200 countries two years ago of being more favorable to economies like China and India, and that it was hurting American jobs. While the announcement was welcomed by Trump supporters, it brought widespread criticism with former President Barack Obama immediately releasing a statement. He said that even as the Trump administration joins a handful of nations that reject the future, he is confident that cities and businesses will step up to lead the way to protect for future generations. Mayors of 61 U.S. cities have joined together to reaffirm their commitment to the Paris deal, pushing for new action to tackle global warming and adhere to guidelines stipulated in the accord. Also, the governors of Washington State, New York and California have announced the formation of the United States Climate Alliance, a coalition that will convene U.S. states committed to upholding the agreement. The leaders of France, Germany and Italy said the Paris deal will not be renegotiated, vowing to push ahead with it, and the EU and China are set to agree on a joint statement backing the agreement. Noaram Arirang News.